Mazda 323 is getting new brake pads, rotors, and a caliper. I already did the other side, now I'm gonna do this side. These are my tools, 14, 12, a uh, hammer, and that's all I did. So, let's do it. Take off the tire. It's kinda late, but uh, since I'm working on it right here in a second, I'm going to just put some penetrating oil on the bolts that I need off and um, yeah so and this in the future because I'm going to be I'm going to be replacing those struts sometime in the future but yeah I'm just gonna spray just spray in there and just let it sit for just a second before I before I start on bolting. Um, it would have been nice to do this at nighttime, but um, uh, okay, I need to bolt this too, or spray this too. Okay. All right, look out the old pads. You got rust all out of them, I don't even see the, there's the other one, so. I forgot, I'm gonna need some needle nose pliers too, to, I'm going to do is use my ratchet and it's a 14 I'm going to take this bolt out and these bolts have been in there these bolts have been in there for 30 years so I'm gonna try to muscle it out which I know I can't that bolt and this bolt right here those two bolts this one and where's the other one at right here that one let me zoom out zoom out oh. This one and that one. Those two. But um, this is where the hammer comes into play. I'm going to tap it and break those loose. Wish me luck. Came out. Hell yeah. Side, this was this was on there really fucking tight. So what I had to do was grab this, a bolt that I had left over, and fish it in here, which pushes this rotor out. But luckily, this one a little bit easier on your boy. Coming right off. Now let's put the new one on. That's where the brake fluid comes into play, and you got to be. You gotta be sort of quick, right? The quicker you are, the better. The last one I wasn't quick, but um, it's a 12 millimeter, and I'm going to take this out. This is where the the um, brake fluid is. I'm going to take that out, and as fast as I can, put it in this guy. <laughs> all right, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to take that out and stick it in here as fast as I can. All right, let's let's do it. And watch me embarrass or Forgive me. I had to put those two bolts back in on the top and the bottom, not all the way, just enough to catch, just to, just to break this loose. It was hard to break this loose with it hanging out. So I put those two bolts in the top of the bottom just for it to catch and I broke it loose, okay? With it at 12. So now I'm gonna take these bolts out. See, it's, it's uh, in there loose. See, it's already, it's already um, bleeding. I see the brake fluid coming out. So I'm gonna take it take this bolt out and put it in here as fast as I can. I'm not 
a fan of. I'm not, this is the complicated part where, you know, all these, you have to take a picture and you have to kind of be, have a, you kind of have to have a mind that works good, I guess. <laughs> you have to take a picture and take, figure out how to take this out and put it back in. Now, I can show you a little bit like how, how this, how this comes out of this hole right here. It pops up and out. I'm gonna have to get some needle nose pliers and these, these go in like that. And um, to get these pins out, you hit it with a hammer. Yeah, you hit it with a hammer. So I'm, I'm gonna try to get a good angle and a video and me doing it, but that's pretty much, that's it. Um, yeah, so um, let's, let's, let's get to it. <clears throat> Fucking asshole. I should have just bought those. I should have just bought these, man. So this is what I took out. Okay, this was like this. Through here. Right. Like that. And there's these little holes right there. Those little holes that I forgot that these guys go in. That end and that end go in those little holes. And that's... That's it. Let's put it in the new one. Put the new brakes in. There we go. Got one. Gotta get that boy in there. Gotta get that dog in there. Took forever to find that hole. Maybe I'm going the right way this time. <laughs> Back in, I just gotta fill it up. It went down a little bit. Um, I gotta fill it up with some brake fluid and then put the tire back on. So, everything's back in. So what she looks like. It's a little loose. Everything's a little loose. So I gotta get in the car, put the tire on, get in the car, and, and press the brakes for a second. But the bolts are in there tight. Um, this shit, uh, you know, it's it's in there. It's not doing much, but um, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So um, yeah, should have got new one of those. So I don't know why it didn't come with the brakes that I bought, but whatever. But look, doesn't that look pretty? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's put the tire back on. Now the last time I just had to pump the brakes a few times. Hopefully I don't have to use that. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna drive around for a second.
second. Well, I'm gonna see if, if the brake fluid went down a little bit. Now we're good. All right. Drive around for a little bit. I drove it around, ended up being the brakes were pulsating, right? It's because, look at my hair, man. It's because uh, the brakes were pulsating because one of my rotors was bad. It was warped. I looked at it and uh, it was kind of bent. It looked like it got damaged in shipping, like the back part of it. So it wasn't smooth and it was pulsating, like all bumpy and shit. I'm like, these are brand, it's, everything is brand new. So I took out the rotors and I put the old rotors in and which took a second, really. It didn't take much. Um, and it's driving smooth again. So I just thought I'd give that update. But um, now pretty much I have new calipers and new brake pads with the same rotors. I guess that if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. <clears throat> it wasn't broken, but the other side, the caliper, the reason why I wanted to do it was the caliper was leaking um, brake fluid. So my car was like leaking uh, brake fluid while I'm driving and I'm constantly kind of topping it off, filling it up once a week. So I'm like, I just need to fix, I just need to fix it, which was just a caliper. And I can't buy just one caliper. I have to buy two calipers might as well do it because i'm restoring this car and the rotors might as well replace the rotors but they ended up giving me some bad rotors but anyways old rotors new calipers new brake pads driving driving good <laughs> driving good good uh good enough for me all right guys peace out